Uh, maybe I don't need a car or like an entire rack of gear. Maybe I can sell most of my mics to get two of these and a kidney. And maybe my brother. I'm not sure. Hey everyone, welcome to the cabin. My name is Alec Britz and today we're talking about the Neumann M49V microphone. I've been fortunate enough to have this microphone in the studio for a few weeks now, putting it through its paces, and boy have we got some stuff to talk about. Big thanks to Studio Care for dropping in the review unit. That review unit is the one right in front of my face that you are hearing right now. If you enjoy what you watch here, then please consider subscribing. If you really enjoy what you watch here, then please consider supporting the channel and dropping a super thanks. Let's jump right in to the Neumann M49V microphone. The case of the Neumann M49V is the same case that ships with the U67s. It looks quite premium. It's got a bit of flex here at the top in the lid. Inside the case we can see we have the Neumann yoke. We then have the microphone itself and we have the power supply over here. There is an unbranded pouch over here which allows you to be able to cover the microphone when it is not in use. Underneath the microphone over here if we pull it out we can see the Neumann cable. The M49V is a solid brass handcrafted valve microphone. Starting at the bottom, we have our type of the microphone and the serial number over here. Then we can see over here that Neumann have ditched the old Tuchel style connectors for a more conventional seven pin modern connection, same as on the U67s. Inside of the microphone, we have the beautiful 47 style capsule. On the side of the microphone, we have these little studs as you can see here. These keep it in place with the yoke as we'll see in just a little bit. You have to be careful with these microphones. There is a huge amount of grill space here, which makes them quite susceptible to any ding, specifically on the corners. There's not very much more to say about it except for the way that it feels, which is very robust, very premium, and weighs an absolute ton. So make sure that whatever mic stand you put this on is going to be able to hold what is quite a large investment of your hard-earned money. We have the classic yoke, and as we can see over here, this very simply just holds the microphone in place. With those studs, they lock in underneath so the microphone cannot fall out at the top or on the bottom. The microphone also has a very pronounced shoulder here, which rests on the top, so the combination of the shoulder and the studs keeps the microphone in place. Inside of the yoke mount we have some felt, which provides a little bit of scratch protection to the microphone. Felt is an interesting choice. I think with modern construction techniques and modern TPUs, you might be able to get a more secure fit inside, as well as one that won't age as badly over time. This connection that sits over here is designed specifically to work with this cable, which means that if I upgrade it to a thicker, more robust cable that's going to last a long time, then that feature on the yoke is completely lost. Underneath the yoke mount, it mounts simply onto your microphone stand right about there. Next up, we have the power supply. We have a very satisfying uh, yes. satisfying switch with the beautiful bulb over here. Two fuses, IEC inlet. It can be switched from 100 to 120 volts or 220 to 240 volts, 50 or 60 hertz. Then on the other side, we have our microphone input to the power supply over here. Then we have our XLR output. Now, what makes this so special is the fact that we have completely variable polar patterns all the way from Omni to figure of eight and everything in between. When changing polar patterns, make sure the microphone is muted, just in case you have any very low frequency rumbles that might hurt your speakers. I like that Neumann have now included a Velcro over here for the cable. It's a nice touch. These connections feel very solid, very premium, well built. I like the little see-through plastic over here to ensure that there's never a heavy angle on the connector. The cable itself is a bit of a headache for me. It's very thin. When you wind it up, you can feel the core inside rubbing against the plastic outside. I suggested a couple of years ago that they could at least braid it if they do want to stick with this cable. That way it won't tangle up as easily when you're trying to wind it up. Now you get to hear how this microphone sounds. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you at the end with my thoughts. Give my 
myself the grace of being wrong Fear makes a fool of us all You can't control what you don't understand Don't let the noise take hold Allow yourself the time to grow and change You can't help but want it it's beautiful. It sounds absolutely insane. I've tried it on male vocals, female vocals, acoustic guitars, drums, everything together. It just works. It works so well that I want a pair, which is insane. A pair of these would be the, it's a deposit on a home. Pairing this microphone with a Neumann V402 microphone preamplifier is an absolute no-brainer. It sounds wide open, but the valve characteristic of it with the transformers do add a bit of harmonic content, but never overshadow what it is you're trying to record. In fact, it only amplifies what you're trying to record in a really beautiful and musical way. Pairing it with something like a Neve 1073, where you'd think that the additional harmonic content might be a bit much, only adds to the drama of the microphone. But that's not to say that there aren't a few things that I find a little bit annoying about the mic, shall we say. In a working studio environment, there's often flight cases moving around a control room or in the live room. Sometimes inside of a control room, there might be a wheelie chair and somebody might be ignorant and roll over the cable. So the cable needs to be sturdy. At this price point, I would have liked to see a couple of different mounting options. The yoke does a good job of holding things in place, but an elastic shock mount that didn't have such a big amount of space behind the microphone would have also been very useful. One of the other things that I think could be improved with this microphone is the case that it ships in. Now don't get me wrong, it does look very nice when they're all standing next to each other, but again, thinking about the fact that this microphone is going to be around longer than I'm going to be alive, I would also want the case to be waterproof, so that if I am taking the microphone from my studio to another one or anywhere else, I'm never worried about a little bit of rain. Would I own it? Well, if I had the amount of money to buy it, I definitely would. That's the Neumann M49V. Thank you guys so very much for watching. If you've enjoyed what you've watched here today, then please consider subscribing. If you really enjoy what you watch here, then please consider supporting the channel and dropping a super thanks. Most importantly, I hope that you're all looking after yourselves and you're being kind. I'll see you in the next video.